Laughter is a universal language. When we laugh at somebody, it's sick. When we laugh for a reason, it's intellectual. But when we laugh for no reason at all, it's spiritual. Now think about it, when we can just laugh without abandon, it's like we're plugging ourselves into the cosmic joke. However, you may notice in our society that our laughter is being quite suppressed. I know that in myself. And in order to activate that again, we want to invite you into this beautiful laughter practice. So laughter is intelligence. It's so powerful. It activates our whole body and it boosts our immune system and it also opens up the limbic system. And the limbic system helps us to uh, tap into trapped emotions. So when you start doing this laughter practice, you're going to feel good, but it might also trigger the response of your tears. And the reason for that is because our laughing and our tears is connected to the di diaphragm and the same muscles in our body. I'm sure some of you have had that experience where you're laughing like crazy and then all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> you just start crying, crying to yourself. Well, that's, that's for that reason. And let me tell you, this practice helped me activate the sincerity of my laugh. So it's important you know that we're not teaching you laughing yoga. That is a practice out there, but we're inviting you to go deep inside and connect to your true laughter. It requires some consistency and it requires you to be real with yourself. You may be thinking, why are we talking about laughter on a self-pleasuring program? Well, laughing activates our whole body. It makes us feel euphoric. It, it triggers the feel-good factor in our body. And when we're talking about life force and moving it and opening our sound as well, opening our throats, this laughter practice does it all in one. And I'm going to show you the practice in a moment. But really, we are inviting you to really move yourself into this practice. However, guess what you're going to experience? Resistance. There has to be some resistance, right? Because when there's resistance, we move through the resistance and then we tap into our bliss. So it's going to be difficult for some of you at first, but we have a few little tips to help you navigate through that resistance. I want to give you an experience now of just activating the muscles in the diaphragm. This is an acting experience. This is not the practice. But this is for you if you're experiencing a lot of resistance and you just get you into it, okay? So it goes like this. So you're gonna slap your leg, exhale all of your, the, the breath that you have, all of the air to the end, and then make the sound of laughing. And then on the inhale, bring in the inhale and start laughing some more, okay? So you can do this with me or just watch me first and then try after. Right, so right now my abs are boom, tight and I've got an experience and even I've got some uh, welling up coming in my eyes. And that's just from one breath out and, and just giving you that example. Remember what I've said is that <clears throat> it activates the endorphins in your body. Yeah? It really, physiologically, it works the internal organs. It reduces um, cholesterol, it lowers blood pressure. I mean, like laughter is medicine, I cannot tell you enough. I think the whole world should just be laughing a lot more. And one other thing is that when you start doing this practice, as we mentioned about the resistance, is that you cannot laugh and think at the same time. Let yourself absorb that. So when you're in this practice, you will notice every now and again you're in your head and you're thinking too much and you're judging yourself, whatever, and just see if you can just laugh at that. You notice the thinking coming up and just keep laughing. The key is, don't stop laughing for the duration of time that you've set. I want to share with you some tips that, to really support your practice. So one is keep moving. If you become still 
then as the tip I gave you with the acting tip, you've got to move and activate the muscles in the diaphragm. So you really want to keep moving. And one of the ways I do that is I have a rolling on my back, uh, putting my hands and my feet in the air like a little baby. Um, I often have a pillow close by to me and I put the pillow sometimes under my lower back and I lift my hips and, and I like um, bounce my buttocks onto the uh, mat and then find a laughter from that through the bouncing of my buttocks and then raising my hips like a hip lift in yoga, lifting them up, dropping them down. I also do rolling around and really entertain myself. You know, I, I feel silly. I feel silly. I don't think, yeah, this is not about thinking about things. You know, that can only help you to laugh for a short time, but we want you to go to the sincerity of your deep laughter. So you have to start to feel silly. And if you just stop and you're still and static, you won't, you won't activate. This is a zero talking. This is not about talking. You're not going to start talking, you're just in the feelings, the sensations, the movement, the sound, and, and just allow whatever wants to move through you. And have fun, this is fun, this is, this is where the joy, you should be feeling it in every cell of your body. Yeah, and this is, uh, this is what we want you to experience and witness. And after that, just lay down in your own time, however you want, and just, that's it, just, just enjoy, savour, savour the whole experience. Trust me, this is like you can... Uh, you can see maybe how excited I get, but you, uh, yeah, you feel like, uh, you feel full. <laughs> full of joy, full of laughter. So have fun with this one. And we invite you to do that for a number of consecutive days to really get the maximum out of practice. For example, you choose, but it could be seven days or 14 days or 21 days, but commit to a number of days and really give yourself that 10 minutes every day and see what changes in your whole system. You will start to notice the great effects that this practice has for you and for your intimacy, your connection to yourself and your orgasmic state. And you know, you could just laugh at that, right? You might even be listening going, wow, I've never heard this before. Like, it's funny, right, to think that laughing, this simple, easy, natural thing that we can do can actually activate us in such a magnificent way. So, enjoy.